guys, welcome back to another video. Today is another episode of Funko News, and today is FunCon Day 3. So, let's get started. So, this is Day 3 of FunCon Reveals, and uh, there actually was some pretty cool stuff. And there was one thing that I definitely want to pick up for sure from San Diego Comic Con this year. So, let's get started. First thing Funko announced, I think, will be probably two pretty popular ones. These are two brand new Pokemon Pops. So we have the Diamond Edition Bulbasaur, which is rumored to be shared with Target. And the Diamond Edition Squirtle, which is rumored to be shared with GameStop. I think both of these Pops do look really good. I think the Pokemon Pops do look really good. Um, I'm not into Pokemon, um, but I still think that the Pops look really good. Especially the Charizard one, which is, uh, I think, from the newest wave. That one looks really good. And, um, so they went from doing Flocked, um, all of them Flocked, and now they're doing all of them but Diamond Edition, um, which is alright, I guess, I don't know. I don't really know Pokemon that much, I do know some of the Pokemon characters, though, like, I know Squirtle, Bulbasaur, Poke, uh, Pikachu, um, so yeah, these ones still look really good. And, um, I wonder what different variant they'll come up with next after doing Diamond Edition. Because they did Flocked, like I said. Now they're doing Diamond Edition. Um, I think it would be cool, though, if they made, like, a pop that, uh, that has never been, um, a Pokemon pop before. But have that be Diamond Edition. And it makes sense. Because some of them, I don't think they really make sense. Um, but anyway, this one, these two do look pretty cool. And the Bulbasaur is rumored to be shared with Target, and the Squirtle is rumored to be shared with GameStop. Next thing Funko announced, this is a pop pin and mini backpack bundle, which is, um, basically, it's a lot like what they did with New York Comic Con with the Hello Kitty with Loungefly backpack, and the Boba Fett with Loungefly backpack. They're doing the same thing again, but this one is the Ultimate Princess Collection Disney Snow White. And, um, her dress is metallic. Now, I've never seen Snow White, um, before, but I heard it's supposed to be a really good movie. I know it's the first ever full-length animated movie and full-length animated Disney movie. Um, but I've never seen the movie whole way through. Um, so yeah, this one, uh, I feel like would pr might shoot up in price. Um, because I know the Boba Fett is really expensive from New York Comic Con last year. And Hello Kitty, and both of those came with the backpack. Um, so who knows? Um, but this one does look really cool. And if you, and uh, this one is, I think it's probably going to be shared with the Funko Shop. Next one we got here, we got Masters of the Universe. Um, so starting off with the pops, we have the Roboto and Whiplash. Both of them are going to be shared with Toy Tokyo. I think the Roboto one does look really cool. I like how you the gears and stuff you can kind of see through them. And uh, same with the Whiplash. Also looks really detailed. And then for soda figures, we have the Masters of the Universe Limited to... I don't know why. I I think it's 18,000 pieces. Let me check. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is limited to 18,000 pieces. I might have gotten it wrong. It might be 12,000 um, looking at it, it might be 12,000. Let me check. Okay, I'm pretty sure that the Prince Adam one is limited to 18,000 pieces. So, the Prince Adam one, uh, there's the common one, and then the chase one, which is metallic, his outfit, and his hair is metallic. And then for the Webster, that one is limited to 5,000 pieces. And the chase for that one is glow in the dark, and everything that glows is his red eyes and his blue skin. Next one, Funko announces from Dungeons and Dragons. This is the Xanthor with D20 die. And uh, this one is rumored to be shared with GameStop. I don't really have much to say about this one because I'm not, I don't really, I, I'm not really into Dungeons and Dragons. Um, but, um, it does say a uniquely designed D20 included. Um, and I know they have done, um, the die with a few other pops. Um, and this one looks pretty cool, and this one is rumored to be shared with GameStop. The next one Funko announced here is from Crash Bandicoot 4, It's About Time. The Crash and Mask Armor, and this one is rumored to be shared with Walmart. And uh, this one does look pretty cool. Again, not really into Crash Bandicoot. I've never played the game, but I do know who the character is. And this one does look pretty cool. And I know the new game came out, I, I think, 
not too long ago. It's a pretty recent game. And I think this one does look really cool and really detailed. Next thing Funko announced here was new DC Pops. So we have five. And um, the dog is being pretty loud. Anyway, so we have the Batman with the Blade here. And this one is rumored to be shared with Entertainment Earth. And I know the Blade has its own special name. I just can't pronounce it. Um, but this one is rumored to be shared with Entertainment Earth. And then we have the Star Girl, which is limited to 5,000 pieces. This one will be a con-only one. And uh, this one will definitely sell out during the lottery. So it's this one, and then the one that was announced yesterday, which are going to be con-exclusives. I forgot the one from yesterday. Um, but when, the, when a pop is limited, it's going to be a con-exclusive to a certain amount of pieces. And I think um, that one does look pretty cool. That is one I probably won't be able to pick up. It will most likely, it will definitely sell out during the lottery. And then we have the Nubia, which is which is rumored to be shared with the Funko Shop. And also Nubia, I guess, is a Wonder Woman character because it's in the Wonder Woman 80th anniversary line. Next to DC ones, we have the bottom row here. We have Doctor Fate. Now this one is rumored to be shared with the FIE, and that one is on my list to pick up. So I'm hoping. That during the lottery, Doctor Fate and the Super Imperial Commando uh, from Stars Rebels. I hope those two don't sell. Um, the Imperial Commando, those rumored to be shared with Amazon, and uh, that one's not too hard for me to get. But I've never ordered off of Fye, so I'm hoping that the Doctor Fate does not sell out, so I will be able to get that one. Because um, that's one that my brother wants to see. He really likes Doctor Fate, one of his favorite DC characters. Um, so that is one I definitely will try to pick up for sure. And then we have the White Lantern Sinestro, which is rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. And speaking with the... There's a wasp trying to get in. That if you hear like a ting sound in the background, there's like a bug trying to get in. Okay, anyway. I wish though that they would make maybe like a normal Sinestro would be pretty cool. And if they did, I would definitely pick that one up. Um, but I think the White Lantern, White Lantern Sinestro one does look really cool. The next thing Funko announced here is from Harry Potter. We have the Harry Potter one. He's kind of flying on his broom, and he's holding a key. Now, I've never seen the Harry Potter movies or read any of the books, um, but this one is rumored to be shared with Barnes and Nobles or Books a Million. Because normally when there's a Harry Potter exclusive con one, it normally goes to one of those two um, because it's kind of the Harry Potter movies are based on books. Um, but this one does look pretty cool. I think uh, this one's probably really detailed. I kind of it's cool. You now he's kind of like floating on his broomstick um, from playing. I think the game is called Quidditch. I think it is. But anyway, this one does look really cool. And that was everything announced today. I know this episode is pretty short, um, but they normally they only have about three days and a lot of announcements. Um, but now they, I think they're trying to spread it out between all five days of the week. So we're only getting about nine different announcements by Funko and Loungefly a day. Uh, most of them do though, have multiple things. So in total, let me just count. In total, they announced 17 different pops today. And uh, I can't wait to see what they have coming tomorrow for day four. And tomorrow will most likely be the last day. So what was your favorite? Was it the Bulbasaur? The Diamond Bulbasaur, the Diamond Squirtle, Bulbasaur being rumored to be shared with Target, and the Squirtle being rumored to be shared with GameStop. The Snow White um, with pin and backpack set, which will most likely be a Funko Shop exclusive. Was it the Crash Bandicoot in Power Armor from Crash Bandicoot 4? It's about, no, not Power Armor, Mask Armor. I think it's what it's called from Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time, which is rumored to be shared with Walmart. It was a DC Batman with Blade, Stargirl, Nubia, um, Doctor Fate, White Sinestro, Batman being rumored to be shared with Entertainment Earth, Stargirl limited 5,000 pieces being shared with the Funko Shop, Nubia rumored to be shared with the Funko Shop, Doctor Fate rumored to be shared with FIE, and White Sinestro rumored to be shared with Hot Topic. Was it the Harry? Potter uh, flying on broomstick with key, rumored to be shared with either Barnes and Nobles or Books a Million. Was it the Zangthar with a D20 die, rumored to be shared with uh, GameStop? Or was it the Prince Adam or Webster soda figures, which will most likely be a Funko Shop exclusive? 
or the Roboto or Whiplash, um, which will be exclusive to Toy Tokyo, because um, Toy Tokyo has their own special sticker for Con exclusives, so that's how it's easy to tell. And then for today's two lounge fly uh, bag, we have a, um, I think, a, uh, like the um, Hello Kitty character backpack, and then the uh, Proton pack, uh, like backpack. Also, guys, um, tomorrow, in tomorrow's episode, I will be talking about the new Funko Pop Blitz event. As of the time I'm filming this, the event started about 20 minutes ago, and I did finish the mini event, um, which was the Care Bears mini event, um, which was the first Care Bears event. I did complete that one, so I have the event exclusive, common and rare. That was today's episode of Funko News. Thank you for watching, and uh, see you guys later, and I'm definitely going to try and pick up that Dr. Fate.